back to FTL Arsenal DLC ships. Um, we just beaten what is apparently a robot man. I mean, we got his head for whatever reason. Um, we're gonna get some information. People wanted that, and who am I to not to give them that? Is in a crew study dead of the cosmic giant. After some time, the team returns with Spacebot's memory database. So that ship has made a secret research station, the result of joint work between Zoltan and Engie. Why do the rebels have it? Fortunately, location of the scientific base is hidden, but the last quarters of the ship that visited the station along with the robot are given. You cover them to your star map. Ooh. I hope we can get there. Yep, yeah, let's. You have the specified coordinates of the ship, which visited the station along with the space bot. The ship is a strange looking rebel drone, apparently it's purpose for repair and transportation of spare parts. Scans indicate the presence of an oxygen on it and biological activity on board. Drone self hangs motionless in space. Engie Kugman, but energy hack into the ship's control systems. Also has a missile weapon. The engine used the database from a stolen space bot to figure out the access codes to the drone. After some time succeed, now the drones are in your control. Try to stop surveillance over the room in which biological activity was detected. Yeah, of course, we'll take as far as it'll go, right? A golden figure appears on the screen, and that'll be they are a prisoner locked in a small cargo bay of the ship. The result appears quite healthy and slowly paces around the room, unaware that they are being watched. Hello? Hello? You introduce yourself and greet the captive. The Zoltan isn't very surprised by your appearance and politely greets you in response. Greetings, Captain. My name is Morgan. As you managed to notice, it was locked in the cargo hold. So what happened is the drone ran out of fuel. The drone was headed to the research station on which I work. Ask about the space bot and the station on which it was designed. It's just endless walls of text. Morgan said that he sneaked onto one of the ships bound for a space station open to destroy the central processor of the huge bot. According to him, the robot possessed an advanced artificial intelligence and a self-reproduction module. The existence of such a system could endanger the existence of all living things, so Morgan decided to disable the space bot. Sultan only managed to destroy the self Reproduction, yeah, too much plot. Self reproduction module before they were discovered. The space bot locked them in one of the cargo bays of one of the repairions and sent the Zoltan back to the research station to be interrogated. They are most likely killed or sent to lifelong exile in uranium mines. Morgan suggests that you take them on board as an engineer. Agree, provided they will inform you the coordinates of the research station and go to it with you. Hey, Morgan. Uh, let's take them with. And you can replace. Zen, I guess. Sorry, Zen, but you know. He might be important. Uh, speaking of which, I gotta do something real quick. Sorry about this. I'll be right back. I really am apologize. But you can ponder about what we're doing right now, so. Yeah. Um, so we're off to a research station where they probably won't like Morgan. Um, missile. Another hiding terrified rock crew in the Jolton police. Yada yada yada. Continue. Uh, let's see if this thing works. Or still works. <laughs> this is so stupid. I love that that actually works. Yeah, beat him up. <laughs> Idiots. That guy got the mid bay back up, huh? Good for him. Uh, it did show that rocks seem to be rather squishy, though. See? Soft. Holy Zermuck 2. That could be our final weapon. 
Alright, so I need to keep in mind they probably won't like seeing more of them. Lombard could replace one of them. Got a proper boarding crew. Uh, we all make typos, right? Oh, great. Um, okay, fine. Let's battle around. So, what do you guys want to see? Hal or Avatar? If there are any others, you gotta keep that in mind. Man, I am thirsty today. <sighs> gotta stay well hydrated. Um, well, if nobody's picking anything. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Alright. It's got to blow up at some point, right? Uh, kind of right on half, no delay. So you can lose crew on that. Cool. Well, AI Avatar is uh, also ships without oxygen on it, so... Doesn't really matter all that much. It's why I gave you guys the choice. <laughs> Lanius? Okay. Did not expect Lanius. Well, um, Lanius it is then. Weird. Like that so you can keep being safe from mind control for a little bit longer. And cue the mind control. And the borders, I guess. Alright, you go take care of that little guy. Yeah, you can go help. That's no glory, right? Uh, 
Pal is basically a different type of AI ship, so I'm pretty sure we'll see a few soon enough. Got the what's left of the health ship. Nice. Good haul. Gonna need that at some point. I'm gonna get some more power. I oh, see my use more of that. I think I will get level 4 shield because I'm already halfway there, which I got from a free upgrade. And, um. I don't know. Maybe aim for weapons. Right, let's see how this thing ends. Um. Uh, the jump takes you to a beacon located at a safe distance from a newly formed black hole. The view is amazing and your entire team doesn't look away from the portholes during the spectacle. The scanners discover a station which was mentioned in the archives of the huge space bot. Morgan confirms that it was here that they worked. I wonder what happens if you no longer have Morgan. If you just didn't, didn't, didn't bother taking them on. Oh, so there's more lore in the Russian version, okay. I will contact the station. Uh, you agreed by the manager of the research station Nemesis. My name is Professor Lebedinsky. Introduce yourself, please, and please explain your presence here. Inspire properly so don't play any games with me. Uh, greet the manager and ask him about the space bot. Really now, you know more than you should, Captain. Yes, oh, crud. It's never good when they say you know more than you should. Yes, indeed, we developed a super ship, but the Financing of the project was discontinued, and all developments were frozen. And Rebel learns of this, they certainly wanted to get a space bot to fight the Federation. <sighs> Transformers, more than it meets the eye. Anyway, the ship, uh, the ship has a special advanced artificial intelligence, gravitational engines, a principle of which, but you still don't understand. You already blew that thing to small bits. You want its head back? Agree, you're not in fact really strong in the principles of operating engines. So the Rebels promised us funding, protection from pirates, regular supplies of food, necessary equipment, in return we had to finish work on the ship for them. Of course we agreed. After all, now we were able to complete the project which we have been working on for many years. Fortunately, or, or fortunately, we didn't manage to put unique Zoltan Shield technology on it, since the Rebel hastened, hastened us very much and set strict deadlines for completing all the work. At this point, the manager is Morgan behind you. Well, well, well. Now who do we have here? Hello Morgan, are you still set on destroying our wonderful project and what did you tell the captain? So they don't like Morgan. Um, I think I'm going to answer it myself. Partially because I saw somebody else do this event and he let Morgan answer it didn't go well. It just attacked and nothing much happened. <laughs> I missed the other part of this event though, so I didn't know what started it. So I just know about this bit and I know they let Morgan answer and it didn't go well I'm pretty sure if I answer myself it's just gonna end in the same way but hey <clears throat> options right so answer ourselves professor you have not said anything about the self reproduction module don't you think that it's quite a dangerous machine especially in the hands of the rebels Lebedinsky begins to burn up oh shoot it's a Zoltan he's gonna murder us all no, I don't think so, Captain. I just don't understand. It's a masterpiece. A scientific... Who the hell is talking right now? A scientific miracle, and moreover, who are you to judge how the machine will behave? Why not for me to judge? In the end, my mission is to deliver important information to the Federation base on which the come of the war with the rebel depends on the future of all the peoples of the galaxy. All the peoples, huh? Not just the people, but all the peoples. Uh, maybe not for me to judge, but you seem to forget about the three laws of robotics, and this is the first thing to remember when creating a robot. So, <clears throat> since the other guy took the other path, I have no idea what to do here. Um, so, I'll give you guys a few options. Either I'll let you guys pick something, or I go look up the event and go for what seems to be the most interesting path. I've got time.
It seems this would lead... Uh, well, both could lead to... Option. Okay, option one. Your two aggrant and stupid captain, and you also have a fugitive on board who will destroy them along with your ship. Open fire. <laughs> Guess we should have been cocky, huh? But he got doors. Mm. Uh. Oh well. Well, the rebels did promise him safety against junk, so why wouldn't they have a ton of this? Well, it's too late now. I gave you the option for me to go look it up. Now that you guys screwed it up, you want me to go look anyway? Just screw that noise. I don't actually need to hit them, I just need their shields down for a sec. Do something about these fires. Where the hell do these come from anyway? Probably that thing. Crew station Nemesis is dead. Good job, people. Well, you have to tell drive charges. You wonder if it all could have ended peacefully. In the background, a black hole continues to slowly devour several bright stars. Nice one, chat. That was all for looking it up. But, yeah, I imagine something like that. Ah, don't blame me, guys. You probably didn't know either, right? But hey, at least my hands are clean. That's all that matters in the end. Me being able to pin the blame on somebody else. Okay, well... And there's our Haldron. Well, it didn't start in the Hal sector. It started in... Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to check. I think it was Sultan sector. Oh, great. It's a mind drone. I can't even count it as a such because... Comes the artillery. Yeah, they sure are. Yeah, but it can still fail you though. You need to have a super shield up before Pulsar, and you're getting shot by the enemy too, so. We are getting insane luck. With our misses. That's all I can say at the moment.
Get out. And we'll be stuck here forever. In the distant conflict between a rock ship and a hell drone. The rock and the run out of ammunition and the drone is slowly breaking through their defenses. Do we uh, let's fire a volley at the hell drone. We have a lot of rock, but on board, it's the right thing to do, isn't it? Fire a volley next to the drone, but they dodge or attack. The hell AI sits around for a few moments before deciding to change targets and attack instead. But I have three rockmen on board, I don't want them to riot. I need to learn some manners, man. Um, mm, our flak can take care of shields. I've got two rubies to toy with. <clears throat> Since when did you, did you start dealing in consequences? Half the time, your arguments are generally just erratic. Or at least they seem that way to me. Well, we are in Sector 6, 7, so yeah, they did get extra shielding. Who's gonna wait for hacking? <laughs> well, that didn't go as expected. Great, so now my flak has... Oh wait, I can move positions on it. There we go. That'll do it. <laughs> Irony! Fighting all the rockmen died. The hull was riddled with too many breaches. The poor fellas have gated without any oxygen board. All that's left to select supplies from both ships and move on. Reports that it is stuck in this dangerous place with empty tanks. Yeah, it's because shooting at people is a great way to save them. We don't need the fuel, so sure. Ooh, you should really head out to the modding forums, then there's so much stuff waiting for you there. Such a hurry to help out here that you fall into a hell trap. Surprisingly, this guy is able to simulate distress signals. Yes, I was so panicky to get on board there. Oh my goodness, look at how I'm panicking. Plenty of drone parts, why not? Let's go for the engines this time. Oh, 
I'll be So, lady on board, how the computer shuts off and the drone hangs still in space. You wait a while, but everything seems to be in order. Your crew examines the ship for scrap and finds the working hazard schematic in the hole. We're not getting to that quest anymore, that's for damn sure. The is empty, you give the order to prepare to jump, but suddenly an unknown man to Halcraft appears and confuses your plans. Oh, we suddenly decided to do something else. Also, I have not been marking these for the counter because they never have weapons, so it's probably a good thing. It's not fair to count them as non-missile things if they aren't having weapons, I guess. I don't know, maybe they mind flooded us. I don't count missile drones because they don't take missiles. I know it's a weird way to go, but I had to draw the line somewhere, and since I decided to count bombs, I decided not to take missile drones. So, yeah. Ah, oh, you're welcome. That's one thing I'm good at. Sarcastic responses. And it's nice to know that not everyone takes them seriously. Because it's nothing worse than s having a sarcastic reply to something and people not getting that you're being sarcastic. Because they have to start explaining stuff and it's, it just kills everything, really. Anywho. That's a lot of noops. Should have gone for the drones. Because of you. And only you. Yep, that's a hit. Hacked my hack. That's kind of rude. Why would you do that? Well, this certainly complicates things. anything? No, but we can sell some stuff. Hey, we can get stealth weapons and a scrap arm. <laughs> no timing for that. House is repaired drone after turning his drone on and works completely autonomously, giving it the ability to save the ship in very critical situations. It's self-aware. So don't leave an attempt in the ship's hold for long. Okay, we won't. There we go. <laughs> and it's gone. Um, there's no point in going there. Um, I've had this one before and you just get there, tell them they ran out of fuel again, that they need more. Uh, you give them fuel and you get another quest beacon and we're not gonna get the chance to go to that one again. Too close to the exit. 
I think. This is sector seven, right? Yeah. Um, cake. Uh, we'll need a recharge booster, we think. I think we're good. I need to catch up on that series at some point, I guess. Uh, I don't think they can do a thing like that. Everything that's in your hold basically doesn't exist as far as blue options go, so... It's just flavor. Flavor text, flavor text. Ooh. Hull beam. That'll be. Hull laser. So, yeah. Hull light missile drone. Slow drone of this damage system and crew with light mini missiles. Too bad there's no way back, otherwise we could rebel dive. No, yeah, not much of a point. No need to repair, we'll get a free repair on the next jump anyway. And middle line. If it hits, I think it can stack too, so yeah, I guess it's pretty potent. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, is there an option for 10? No, there isn't. Um, I guess we'll go find a repair beacon. Destruction of distance zombies are inspiring. That's kind of grim. Missiles. Yeah, we might end up on a perfect 50 again. Okay, dudes, you've been standing in there for far too long. It's time to go kick some buttocks again. Of the rebel kind. Uh, we don't need this much shields. We'll get this, that. So, we plop into here, mind control this dude, I think I did that in the wrong order. Um, send some here, send some there. Nope, still working, okay. Like that, while well, we still have the chance to. Cool. Cloak the missile. Yes, it's boring. It's combined with hacking. It works really well. I like boring and hacking. Which is also what I will be using against the flagship. Let's go there before that gets taken over. I do want to have full health before we jump into stuff. No way, friendly as B. Uh, and it's one where we... Only get one fuel from, so there's no reason in sticking around. Just so you're not too much of a douche. I will hack your uh, weapons. Yeah, but it's something that's hard to pull off though, isn't it? The chance of finding one glaive beam is pretty slim. The chance of 
Filing 2 is therefore even slimmer, and Filing a Pre-Igniter is also pretty rare. Simulator? What simulator? It's pretty strong, yeah, but... The weirdest thing where I had tons of fun with, though, was a Burst Laser 2 and then a triple fire beam. So fire beam, fire beam, fire beam. It went luminous. What the hell are you doing? No, fuck off. What the hell, dude? Um, so what do we want here? Buffer in there. Buffer in there. Up that. Yeah, we're doing the same thing with some hull beams, though. Like three hull beams work as well. Um, fire is great. It should be up on the channel. I think the episode is actually called Triple Fire Beams. We have to wait half a day before the bloody flagship gets here. Jeez. Come on, dude. The fire will get on myself. Uh, stuck with Federation, soldier, no use with a war. But if you stuck with the Federation, you would have also been in the war just on the other side. So what the hell are you talking about? In any case, to battle we shall go. That's a missile weapon right there. Battle we shall go to battle we shall go. Do, 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 do. Battle we shall go. A short one with three quarters of the crew melting, but you know. Hey, one lived. Look at that. Alright, we'll come out to greet you. Come up. No, you just want to be stupid. Alright, fine. Can't blame you for being an idiot. <sighs> Apparently, it's not right to do. <sighs> not much left to upgrade. Let's go here, get some more scrap. Why the heck not? We're only in this episode for 36 minutes ish. ish, ish. Missiles. Missiles, missiles, missiles. Oh, hey, look, you got the same setup. Sure. Dipwit. Gotta love the Dipwits, though. He's like, no, I don't want to fight anymore. Let me out. But alas, you too will melt. It's the way the world works nowadays. Nothing personal, kid. Sincere gratitude. I don't think wars are won by gratitude, but... Okay. Oh, wait, it's got... Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I may as well go here, then. Get all the scrap in the world. Look! Missile weapons. Tons of them. No medbay for us to play with, unfortunately.
I'm gonna cloak this, it's more shots. Resultant shield should be able to stop this thing. If you haven't killed them by the time it becomes a problem. That's a nice looking ship, if I ever saw one. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's mostly due to the boarding. I mean, we didn't even fire our weapons in that, so... Wait, make some coffee. <laughs> Zed Rebel flagship, if you're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation will have a chance of surviving. There is no turning back. Yes, there is. We can jump away and then try again. What are you saying? words. Anyway, we won't be using our weapons here either. I know, right? Ludicrous. Uh, actually, we should use our weapons to take down a missile weapon, or at least suppress it. Dude. That's the idea. Shunt, shunt, shunt. Why would a flash of Tom if it's getting its butt kicked? You're not making any sense. I don't think it can do that. You could give it Crystal Vengeance and it could shoot out crystals every now and then. It surely makes it more annoying. But I think it's still manageable. I just don't like playing hard. Um, not a big fan of hard. Probably do something about my oxygen. Yeah, weapons hack, that's always good. Normally you would restart at this point. You know, cut your losses and try, try, try again. We're not gonna do that. I ain't no B word. Good dodges though, 35% evasion off not. So the thing actually isn't that important, huh? Somebody should still go fix that, though. Okay. 
He's done with that. And now it's our turn. Miss Lunch are gone. Somebody really should go fix oxygen at this point. You can get killed. Just need to remember to shunt this guy out. Got him. Went better than expected. Things looked a lot more dicier. To be honest. Yeah, come back, boys. Get it good. Hold in. Yeah, it's tougher, but it's more lucrative. You get more stuff from it. Out of it, I guess is a proper term. Uh, next phase, what do we want? What do we need? That's the drone one. So we could have got drones. Yeah, we'll see how we get there. Just gotta remember to shunt this guy into the main body before we kill things. It's a missile drone. No, wait, it wasn't a missile drone, it was just a leftover from the power surge. Bit of a difference. Uh... Surging again? That's quick. Such a bloody knot. Now that's why I get high engine. Everything just misses. Alright, time to shunt to this guy into the main body. Uh, MG, you got a little bit of all left, but we should be able to fix that without suffocating. You no, need two people. Oh, 
actually didn't know that. I guess you can't still learn new things about FTL. And there's our lesson for today. So, time for a slight nudge. There he goes. Little weirdo. Yeah, it's kind of a way to beat, in between quotes, the Ooh, these are connected, you have to kill them all, can't just leave this guy alive. It was either that or fight the eye, I'd rather not fight the eye straight out of the gates, you know? He's a bit of a jerk too. Yep. by a few seconds. I think he keeps his oxygen up and running. The thing is, the guy becomes suicidal. As in, he will just chase down your crew because they don't have a med bay or anything on the, sh on the ship anymore. Anywho, let's go finish things, right? Uh, we'll probably do a hack on shields once we get the opportunity to. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but all right. I'll allow it. Not that I have much choice in the matter. And there he goes. <laughs> that was indeed a mere few seconds. <sighs> well, like we said, the crew becomes suicidal. of our cloak. Whatever power we can. I don't know, we'll lose anyone now. That would just be silly. Seem to get that stupid missile launcher down, huh? Alright, come on. Let's end this. Make sure the ship is looking nice for the photo finish. And goodbye. To, to Vedas, Theus, Malat, Maria, Trollzia, Morgan, and Lombard. 
Flash the blister chance of the moment you return to tell screen all your friend will have been undone. That is game. Yay! Yeah. Cool. That was a pretty easy one. We ended up with 55.6% on the missile count. I should probably put that in my file before I forget about it. Um, missiles 15, 27. Alright, uh, I think I got time for another one. But I might not be able to finish it. We'll have to see. In any case, for now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you still see you. So, free, just probably coming back here or something if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.